Hox HUD initialized. Okay, we need to clean the joint out. Eight bags ought to do it. Don't go easy on them. Hey guys, Hazy Dash out here with a post commentary walkthrough on how to soul stuff jewelry store on Death Wish. What we're first going to do is we're going to walk over here to check out if a police car has spawned. And if it has, there will be two police car, two policemen selling hot dogs. One will be standing behind the hot dog stand, and the other one will be. Uh, Don't make a sound. I don't know, standing in front of the car. They, you if you kill them, you can kill them. You they do not have pagers. I'll wait here for the action. But what we're going to do is those two alleys are always going to be blocked, no matter what. So you're going to have to go through the back in order to get to the alley. We're just going to keep spotting this guard, following him. In the top right, you can see Hawk's HUD. With a, there's a dude with sunglasses, and those indicate that there are three guards on the map. So we're going to go over here. We're going to look. Now that we know there's three guards, we're going to look for one. There's one. So now we know where two are. And we're gonna just let this guy walk on past. Watch out, guys. Spot him as he goes. A little suspicious. Preparing mask. Let's we obviously this. know. I just saw him right there. I'll put a slow mo there. But we're gonna prepare the mask because we know where all three guards are, or where two are for sure, and theorizing the second one, or the third one. And then we take him out, answer the pager. normal. Sir. And we're keeping an eye down this alley because I know the second cop is coming down, or is down this alley. So we're just going to spot him, wait for him to be out of range of the windows, and then shoot him, and the bullets will send him projecting forward, which will knock him out of view of the windows, out of view of the civilians. So we answer his pager. No, I'm kidding. It's me, Steve. It's all fine. And now there's only the one guard left. We're just taking a peek in that window to make sure if he's not there or not. So he's not in this room. Pick this up because I saw him away. And then, what we're gonna do, since he's not in either of the two rooms, we're gonna, we don't have silence drills on, so we're gonna put the drill there, and then uh, we're gonna try and get up here, but it, it doesn't work. But we're just gonna sit here and wait, because the noise will automatically attract the guard's pathfinding to go to the drill, because it, it he hears it, so it's suspicious. And we're just keeping an eye down this hallway, because half the time the guy down the desk sees the body in the doorway and gets alerted right away. So we're just going to head right into that room right away to take care of those guys. All three of them. Don't want this guy to leave, so we get him to notice us. And we get them down, and then we zip tie all three of them, so we don't have to worry about anything extra. And what you can do is smash this glass here, and nobody will hear it in the store. As far as to my knowledge goes, nobody will hear... Nobody in the rest of the store will hear this. I just recommended you have Dead Presidents on, so that you will get the max value, or Dead Presidents Pro, so that you get max value out of uh, the instant cash pickups, which is what those are. There's a slim chance of stuff spawning, well, not slim chance, but there's a chance of stuff spawning there, and that in the end of the hall. Now with all the guards gone, there's something moving on that guy's head. And now with all the guards gone, we, we just uh, take care of the rest of the civilians. And one guy got noticed outside, which Stay is unfortunate. The and there's get still the still a guy in here that Everybody didn't get down. He knows Hawk's HUD adds green exclamation points, which means not that guy at the bench could notice us. He knows the guy tied up. The but get there'll down. be orange and green exclamation the points. The orange one means they are uncontained. The green ones mean they have Don't been... Move. Uh, scared into submission. So they're no longer a threat at the moment. They have no, there's no chance of them calling the cops. So we just smash all the instant, instant cash and I'll just, just open everything. Because with Hawk's HUD, there's a little loot bag with, or a little briefcase with dollar signs on it. That indicates how many loot bags there are, or stuff you can bag up. And every time we break the glass, it counts for us how much new available loot. And, um... The crossed zip ties means how many hostages you have. The little ECM indicates how many pagers on the map you have left. The little guy with the bag person, the cleaner, indicates how many body bags you have left in your inventory. And the top secret thing indicates how much... How much gauge packages are still on the map. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get these guys inside before that other person notices, which would be unfortunate. 
I should have done this first. Follow but. me. Come with me. Just keeping an eye on him, keeping a track Follow me. of where he is. Let's set him down inside the store. Get this other guy out of here before that guy Follow notices. Me. Oh, somebody's getting brave. And, yeah. So the exclam exclamation point turns red when they are getting up and about to call or getting up to run away or something. And I went across the street. So we ran too far away from this guy when we tried to get him to follow us the first time. So he laid back down in fear and this guy got noticed. So don't even wear zip ties. This is a no... Nobody move. Harm no civilians. A casualty free. Stay down, everyone. Aside from guards. Run. Okay. So the drill broke. It is going to break roughly two to three times. Probably. As it is a Titan safe on Death Wish difficulty. So two to three times Nobody is move. probable. Stay down. And then we're just going to move Nobody the bags move. out one by one. Don't move. Chances are on Death Wish, there's always, you need to steal eight bags, so there's always going to be seven. Chances are there's always going to be seven in the lobby and two in the safe. So you have to open the safe almost every run. Um, and then you get one extra, which is, uh, equals $205,000. Extra cash. So we're just going to keep moving the bags one by one. Everybody stay down. Stay Keep where control you of the civilians. Reset their intimidation. Stay down, everyone. And then it's pretty much this until the end. I'm just gonna fast forward here. Alright, now that the safe is open, we're going to take the instant cash right away, and then we're going to bag one of the jewelries, bags of jewelry, and then we're going to throw it near the entrance of the store, and then we're going to go back, take the second bag, and then we're going to throw it, and then we're going to shove Stay it down, everybody. Everyone. Stay down! Stay still! Well, not everybody, I'm going to miss a few. But what we're going to do is we're going to secure both bags of jewelry right away. That's enough for Vlad! Get more if you feel brave. That's a solo stealth jewelry store on Death Wish difficulty without any civilian casualties. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Nice job, Stats, and all those gems, guys. I'll call ahead to my diplomatic contacts. They're hungry for this.